Weight bias and weight shaming are very real problems in our country, and that problem often leads to bullying. What can be done to stop this destructive behavior? Joe Naglowski is the president and CEO of Obesity Action Coalition. He's here today with Patricia Neese. She's the JD chair of the OAC. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. I was so fascinated when I received this material to have this discussion with you. And Joe, I'm going to begin with you. Help us understand what, uh, what we're looking at here when we talk about weight bias. Yeah, so weight bias is simply negative attitudes uh, towards people who live in larger bodies or have obesity. And the reality is, though, it leads to much worse things such as bullying, um, shaming and discrimination. And I want to be very clear here. You know, we are all for addressing the obesity epidemic, but it's actually our shaming of people that is making the obesity epidemic worse. We are not going to solve the obesity problem by blaming and shaming people. That actually only causes them to gain weight. In order for us to wrap our hands around the obesity problem as a nation and as a world, we have to end this uh, issues of weight shaming. Well, Patricia, help us understand how some of this bullying and shaming uh, comes to you. What, what kind of things do you hear? and what are, what are people saying? I've had obesity my entire life. The bullying and ridicule started when I was probably about three or four years old. Mm. Um, when I was a kid, I was weighed by a school nurse in front of all my peers. Mm. She said, you're fat, you need to lose weight. At a time when all I wanted to do was fit in. And, you know, kids are, I love kids, but... They can be mean when it comes to differences. Fatty Patty was an often uh, a name that kids often use for me. But as I got older, the experiences just grew even deeper. You know, things like a guy I was dating got teased because he was going out with the fat girl, things like that. And then when you, even as you move into adulthood, I'm walking down the street and people yell out of a passing car, you big fat cow or whatever, there's a whole variety, usually involves a mammal of some sort. Um, and it just, yeah, and then you face it in employment and in the medical profession, in medical appointments, it just, it is everywhere you turn. Well, Patricia, let me just tell you how sorry I am that you have continued to experience this. And I'm so grateful that you are being transparent and sharing this so people can better uh, get a handle on how toxic this is. And so, Joe, I turn back to you and I ask you to tell us about the, the campaign about Stop Weight Bias. Yeah, so the Stop Weight Bias campaign, which you can see at StopWeightBias.com, is really about raising this awareness of weight bias and the impact it has on people. And I want to challenge all your viewers today that if you see weight bias, it's time to stand up and say something about it. Be an ally to that person who might be experiencing it, who might not be willing or able to stand up for themselves at that time. The reality is we're only going to take care of this issue and we're only going to solve weight bias if we start standing up when we see it. Then we can wrap our hands around, as I mentioned earlier, this entire obesity epidemic and get people the care they need to be as healthy as possible. Well, Patricia and Joe, thank you so much for opening our eyes today.